Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Ponastabe and today we are going to be playing Divinity Original Sin. Now we are playing the Enhanced Edition because it was on sale and I've been really excited to play this game. So I'm super glad to finally have it in my hands and finally be recording video for it. Now if I'm not mistaken, Divinity 2 went into early access within the last couple of months. I don't know if it's come out of it yet or if it's still going on. But before I played that one, I wanted to play this one and make sure that I understood again where the story was, uh, how to play the game so I don't go to that one completely blind, and I just felt like this was a really good place to start. Uh, so we're going to get into it. I've already created my characters. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, so we're going to learn together. I've left the tooltips on. Uh, my female character is a cleric, my male a fighter. I'm looking for the, I guess, tank and healer comp to go, uh, to go into this with. So bear with me, we are going to fuck a lot of stuff up. It's just going to happen, so we're all just going to have to kind of deal with it and see how it goes. But, uh, let's jump in. Um, apparently, you wash, or you come to the shore on a boat. The captain tells you that there are orcs everywhere, and be careful, and then you start right here. So, now that you've caught up, Let's get in. If I didn't know there were orc ships raiding to the west, I'd mistake this for a placid beach. At least the orcs I make a bit of noise looks. when they attack. It's dark dealing sorcerers that'll strike with neither warning nor mercy. Merciless orcs. I like it. I like that the terrain just melts away while you're. Oh my goodness. I have a feeling I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this. And we match! It's so cute! Shields match. Club. It's a sword. It's a break. Oh, yeah. Getting some gold. I to access your inventory. I think I can manage that. Ah, there's nothing in there. Never mind. Oh. Is that a corpse? What's it doing here alone? Found a magic what, scroll where you can cast have spells you haven't learned. Awesome. I got a shell. I was hoping there was going to be maybe a pearl or something in there. Some, some gins and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe it's a crafting item. I'll pick, I'll pick them up. Just in case. Maybe I can craft a, a shell mace for my cleric or something. Or the source. God, this is so much stuff. What is all this? Do I get, do I get free use of these? I believe this is turn-based combat, by the way. Uh, yeah, if it runs in tandem with uh, the gameplay that I've seen in the second. Turn-based. I love turn-based. So it drew me to the uh, Final Fantasy games. So... You guys are gonna fuck off. I talked while they were talking. So Arise, no fair dead. Seize upon our enemies. Raise the dead. You can try. I will fight them. I will fight every one of them. They will be mine! Looks like there's an archer and two melee. Combat is displayed in rounds. Fantastic. Everything we do in combat costs action points you receive each round. Your turn ends when you have no AP left. Got it! The order of portraits from left to right determines what order of combatants will take their turns. Okay. Hot bar, click on a skill, start casting, cancel by pressing the right mouse button. Drag skills and items to the pop art for quick access. Holy hand grenade. So that's like an AE heal. Resurrection scroll. Oh, yeah. And then power stance increase both the damage of your melee attacks and your movement speed and cost of precision. Okay. So you lose 20% chance to hit, but you gain 20% damage and movement. I'm down with that. Warm status decreases the target's willpower and the bodybuilding within the spell's area. Warm status. 90% chance to struck by divine light for three turns. And then generation 13 vitality on a target for three turns. Okay, cool. So it's like what, 39 health? That's that's awesome. Considering we have 71, that's a fantastic heal. What is this? Oh, I have to have a staff for this. Okay, I'm not worried about staff. You just go right in there. End your turn by pressing space. The AP you have left will be saved for your next turn. Got it. Left, uh, 
left mouse button on an enemy to attack, press left mouse button on the ground to move, remember to keep an eye on your action points. Okay. Now I've got this battery ram. Rush forward in a straight line to a point far away, hitting enemies in your path for 7 to 9 slashing. And melee power stance and then crushing fist. An enormous fist smashes your enemy and knocks them down, dealing 4 to 5 crushing damage. It's a 90% chance to set knockdown status for two turns. Yeah! Cost 4 AP. Though. How much does this one cost? 4. Alright, let's use that and just rush the big guy. And just pound him with this. Wings pulverize you. Awesome! Somebody gets smacked around. Okay. The party member's portrait holding left mouse button to do the same. You got it. Now then, I am going to do this. And then hit all of you with this. Holy radiance. Now they're all warm. In the footsteps of the brawler. Firestorm grenade? Let's get all of them. Is he gonna hit her too now? Oh yeah, that hurts all of us. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. The leader said something about escaping with a stone. Stolen from this Party dialogue. Dungeon, we gotta imagine. get out of this first. Can we get inside? Oh, I'm gonna die. Those thieves were more than petty criminals. Their leader gave life to the dead. That was a bad what idea! Stone <laughs> could they have been so keen on taking? <sighs> Oh goodness, I almost died. Immediately. Our orders say to report to our contact in Cecile, not to waste precious time outside the city walls. We can't very well turn away from such an obvious source of shadow of source. Let's investigate the tomb. Until and we investigate briefed the tomb. on our intended investigation, every wasted moment is an outright defiance of our orders. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Some dialogues require you to voice your opinion. This opinion gives you traits which can result in a stat ability bonus over time, your stats or your traits can change. Awesome! How dead am I? You. Her. I need her. Let's hit both of us with this. I needed that. Okay. And then heal him. I, I wasted a potion to do that. Back to me. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna continue. I feel better Access the option tutorial area by entering the dungeon behind it. Yes, okay. So we're gonna go there, because I, I wanna know what the fuck's going on. I wanna I wanna do the optional tutorial. You can recap all tutorial messages by viewing them in the log, which is here. That's awesome. You got it! Thanks, buddy. Oh, I This seems to be broken. This seems to be broken. Everything? I can just get stuff like everywhere. Candles. Check them out. Oh, I can turn the candles off. It's small interactions like that in games that I absolutely adore. Highlight the chest and press right mouse button to bring up the action menu. Select attack to perform the action. Attack. Attack. Awesome. Did I break stuff? One man's trash is another man's trash. <laughs> so it's just trash items. I love it. Mug of water. Effects unknown. I'll take my chances with a mug of water. I'll do it. I'll try. This seems to be broken. Okay, so you can just do nothing with broken boss. I love it. Search all the things. Empty potions bottle. Click and drag them to get them out of the way. I'm gonna search them first. Oh, a hand axe. 11 to 18 slashing. So it's a small side upgrade. Open your inventory and drag the item under the matching equipment slot. You got it. I can do that. Oh, what is this? Okay, so I, I can move this. I don't want to move this. This is fine where it's at. Jump from one target to the other, hitting a maximum of two targets, stunning them and dealing eight air damage. It's only a 50% chance to stun them, though. 
That's okay. 50-50, I'm fine with that. I can search them from all the way over here. That's great. That is just great. Pumpkin! Hey! I love pumpkins. Alright, we're done here. You. I just get you out of the- can I stack them? Oh. I can stack them? How high can we stack them? Can I make a tower? Uh, too high? Dang it. Got too high, guys. Sorry. Couldn't, couldn't handle myself. Not enough space. Okay, cool. Wait, can I put two on there? No. Okay. You just get over there. There's no reason to move all of this, but I'm just gonna bar the path. I'll just Careful, set side. There's a mine in the middle of our path. Someone must have an interest in protecting whatever's kept here. Ooh. Attacking them with a ranged weapon or by dropping something on them? I'm definitely dropping one of these on. Oh, hey, little guy. I can talk to the rat? Oh, that's great. All right, you. Here. Boom. Oh, I almost set on fire. Don't stand in that. Water. All right, we're just gonna... We're gonna go around that. Darling, please don't. Okay. Wait, can I talk to you? Talk to it. Stop moving! Don't understand a word this animal is saying. If you had the pet pal talent, you could have had you could have had a meaningful conversation. Squeak to you too, friend. I'm gonna name you Charles. Little Charles. Thanks, buddy. You tried to help, and I appreciate that. I've always heard there's typically more to a king's tomb than meets the eye. It could be a myth, or it could be our lucky day. What is this? Some old parchment? To read books or notes, open your inventory and interact with the object. You got that. You definitely. You and I can we can vibe off that. I like it. Old wooden earth staff. Fantastic. Alright. So she can equip that and then use her staff of magus. That's fine. I'll think about it. Can I okay, so it only moves to where we are. Charles, you have a lot of a lot of family. I'm just gonna go ahead and say every one of them is just Charles. This seems to be broken. It is broken. I, I can mouse over it and see that it's broken. I should have been well, clear. What's this I've spotted? Oh, something hit has been revealed. The higher your perception, the more likely you are to reveal traps and secrets. It's very D and D. I love that. I love that. I, I've played Dungeons and Dragons for years now. So that is just incredible. Oh yeah, I'm gonna attack it. Let's go. We made short work of that door. Yeah. But I don't imagine I am better our than a wooden door. Survive such use for long. All right. Actually, need to be using you as the lead. You have the more defensive traits. She's more of a, a healer. F5 and quick save. Oh yeah. Let's let's quick save that right. Water removes fire. Use a water spell and destroy a water barrel and you buy to clear the fire up and take care to avoid the fire surfaces. Okay, I was right. I don't have enough strength to move that. Attack it. Attack it again. Awesome! Now, is there something over here that I could maybe... that I need? Oh no, I can't tell until I get over it. Exploration! I am in... I am in heaven. This game. Oh my goodness. Let's go, buddy. Let's ruin all the fire. Whoever set this fire in the gun for it. Harry. Effects unknown. Got it. Oh, there's more crates over here. An oil flask. Okay. So if I were to pair the oil flask, if I were to throw the oil flask and then hit the holy radiance onto it, if they're warm, if I hit them with two holy radiance, would that put them on fire and then set the ground on fire? What is that? Lockpicks. Useful. To open a locked object, use the lockpick from your inventory, then select the locked object. You got it. I feel like I should just be able to right click and then have the option to pick the lock if I have a lockpick in my inventory. Did I already search these? No! 
Fire arrowhead. Although it's too hot to hold for long, crafting this arrowhead into a special arrow could bring just the right amount of heat to any battle. Definitely gonna grab that. I don't currently have the knockdown arrow. I don't currently have a ranger type character in the party, but I would assume that the party can grow larger. If the enemies can attack me as, you know, more than two, then I'm going to assume that my party can be larger than two. Alright, I don't want to go down there yet. I want to explore up here. Can I zoom it out any further? No, it's just right there. Okay, so there's nothing here. We'll check up at this little alcove. There's something there! A fireball scroll! Yes! Using a fire on poison surfaces and poison clouds. We get rid of it. That's great! So if I were to inventory... This is your inventory. Everything you pick up is stored in here. Press the right mouse button on objects in your inventory to find out what you can do with them. Okay. So I want to pull this down here. Put it on my action bar. Six, and then just... Destroy it. And that was far enough away that neither of us took damage. But now it's, there's like, there's fire on the ground. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. I'm an idiot. Heal me, my friend. Oh, that was my only, holy hand grenade. Shite. Okay, I don't want to... Metal Temple Door Key. I'm glad I came up here now. So as soon as that heal ability comes off cooldown, I'm gonna use it on him again, and then I'm gonna quick save it, which I believe was F5, in case there's a battle down here. Like, there's probably a door somewhere over here that key opens up, and then there's some miniature boss battle or something of the sort there. So we'll quick save. Perfect. Bless the seven, I am restored. Awesome. That's right, it heals like every turn, every moment. How did I turn the camera? I forgot how to turn the camera. Oh, this way. There we go. Now then, is there a keyhole somewhere? I can maybe... Oh, because I just had the key. I can just click it. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Orange? Effects unknown. Ugh, I wonder what oranges are good for. I would assume that these are all just items that are going to give me... Place an object over the pit to stop the puddle of cloud from spreading. Okay. What's so this? I found the something. Nothing in there. Bam! Right there. Smoke screen arrowhead. I gotta get a ranger. There's well, gonna be so many what's ranger. What's this I've spotted? Bunch of nothing. Oh no, another orange. All right, we're going to place one on all of these. Oh, well, first try. What's this I've spotted? Oh, an aged rope. Right, for casters again. I, I, I don't have casters. I, I have I, what I would assume are plate wearers or heavy armor, uh, sword shield I style. I hear voices downstairs. The last thing we need is to surprise another angry summoner. Okay. Quick save. Oh, I can't do that. Well, this is uh, enter sneak mode by pressing C. See out of the vision cones of those which remain hidden. I'm a fucking rock. Rock solid, baby. Rock solid. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just rocking out. Something isn't right here. It could be an ambush. You don't see nothing. My right. Oh no! Dude, I gotta get him all the way over here now. Oh, that's a terrible idea. I'm gonna use all of my AP to get as far away from them as I can. He's coming down though. Good job. Oh, they're in the oil. I could have used my polar radiance. Dynamic. Two enemies are concentrated in a small space. You can press B to get a top-down view. 
change combat highlights in the game options to increase combat clarity. You got it. I'm gonna hit them with this. And then he's gonna run back. There's a fireball scroll here that I could have used. Did that clear it? Oh, that's wild. Oh, I don't have enough action points to do anything besides this. So let's make myself stronger. And then... Oh no, I want to I wanna zoom out and then just get him right there. Yeah, hammer time, I love it! Oh no, it's a familiar. Is that a familiar? Or is that actually a rat? Charles, if I hurt you, I'm so sorry. Delay your turn by pressing the delay turn button during your combat turn. As a result of your turn, will be pushed to the end of the round. Awesome, so I can hold my turn. Go, go smack him while he's on the ground. Now, do you get attack of opportunity if something was to move away from you? Or if you were to move out of something's vicinity? I wonder, so how D&D &D does this work? Alright, she's done. We're just gonna pop him in the face. Twice. Success! Done here. Grab some coins. Oh, I'm boiled now. That's sexy. Fireball, drag items such as potions, scrolls, grenades, or special items. Remove your inventory onto the slot, into a slot on your hotbar for easy access. Okay, I can do that. I can definitely do that. Oh, you're nice and oily. I boiled up, my lady. Little buddy, I'm glad you're okay. I didn't mean to try and hurt you. Oh, no, not the broken. No, they're all broken. Never mind. That one's not. Ooh, poisoned arrowhead. I love it! Are these? Yeah, they're pressure plates. Awesome! An object of sufficient weight. Okay, so as long as it's heavy enough. Why isn't it letting me move? Okay, so if I put me here, and then put her there, would it work? It was letting me move stuff before, what, what happened? Oh, it's being all weird now. Even the camera's weird, okay. Oh, now I can move it. Okay, so that worked. I just can't move those. Oh, I didn't go offline on Steam before I started recording. Oh, well. Okay, I can only move certain things, I guess. Can I put you on there? Hey, squeak at me. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, I'll just stand up here. Does that keep the door open? Oh, of course not, no. Okay. This seems to be broken. Okay, I don't know why it wouldn't let me move it before. That was weird. But okay, broken vase has nothing in it. How do I get to... There's a chest up here that I want to get to. Give it to me your items, friend. Can I just go up here? No. Okay, that's a wall. That's, that's a little bit weird. The, the terrain going away definitely confused me into thinking that I could walk through a wall. Oh, I have to go all the way back around. Okay. There you go, buddy. Oil yourself up. It's gonna be a sexy episode. Strap in. Alright, so yeah. Wait, did I open this? Yeah, yeah, I opened that. I'm just that good today, guys. Just that good. Right. Little Charles, are you gonna come too? Oh, there's stuff here. A hammer. It's a one-handed what? Ooh, some arrow shafts so that I can make arrows. Another piece of trash. Don't talk to me like that. Combine ingredients to craft new items. Open your inventory and press the craft button in the middle to start crafting. I'm not gonna look at that right now. Uh, probably in the next episode I'll look at crafting and things that I can create. Uh... But right now, I'm going to assume I've got the items to create a uh, fortress. Or to unchain them. Breaking the chain. Oh, 
falling. Okay. Why are you telling me how to unchain? Oh, okay. I see why. So you go over there. And she goes over here. To open a locked door or chest, you can find the key, learn lock picking, or use brute force. You got it. Okay, she needs to go touch this one. And then you can go. Awesome! Oh, it's saved on its own. And I just chain you guys back together. Great! Oh my god, I can move that. Okay. It's almost like editorial, the way that you can just move whatever you want. Oh. Hi, buddy! Hey! Why should we go back to sleep? Can we sleep? Oh, no. Run! Quickly, run! We're out of here! A living rat dares disturb the slumber of the dead. A thieving fool insults the sanctity of the grave. The bloodstone defiler, where is it? I don't have your bloodstone. Let's sell out the people that attacked us earlier. I met a trio of strange cult-like creatures before the entrance of this tomb. They seem to have a precious stone in their possession. Strange Fuck indeed. Fuck you. Robed indeed. Your tricks will not save you from Shit. retribution, deceiver. The Bloodstone, deliver it now and I may deign to end you quickly. Bloodstone? I, don't I suppose you, you only crept among these sacred tombs for leisure. I suppose you had no lust for the treasure of the dead. Ha! Okay, and who are you? In life, I toil to care for these holy grounds. In death, I protect them from profaners and poachers. The legacy of Cycile is mine to preserve. Her traitors are mine to destroy. I'm not trying to hurt anything. I'm just trying to do a tutorial. I'm just trying to learn how to play this game. I'm feeling really attacked right now. Run if you like, Defiler. Whichever way you take leads you to the grave. Wait, hold on. So let's break them apart. And I'm just gonna sneak past you. Oh, shite. Put you guys back together. Oh, is it like right on the edge? Oh, can I get him? No yeah! Okay. Muffy the lion of Saba. Oh, I could even pop him. That's like full combo. Let's go, baby girl. Just get up here. Just, just get up here. Some archers. See, I've got him knocked down for the next turn. Oh, but he gets back up. Shit. Okay, so there would, there would have to immediately be follow. It's gonna take some tact. For now, I'm just gonna. Shit. Yeah. I'm just gonna hit you. How much health does he have? Ah. Huh? Okay, I'm out. Just heal yourself. He's got this. He's got it. Here. I don't have enough to buff myself, so we're just gonna end it here. Ah, that's right, you missed your attack. Oh, shit, he used all of his AP just to attack. Ooh. Ooh! Ow! Ow! Okay. So you're a dick, so you, you just die. For you! And Death then... never dies, fool. Death in a thousand seconds moves all. Oh, no, not that. Okay. You start heading for this one. Oh! Oh, whoa! Whoa, his ghost is gonna attack now. Is that what's happening? Not so fast. You do get attack of opportunity! Yes! Yes! I am in love. Yo, kill this guy, like. And then just start moving that way. And you. And you go attack him. Attack of opportunity because he tried to walk away. But you failed to apply a chill to me. Okay. And then just buff yourself. And we're done there. Failed to apply the chill. Good, 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 good. How much is just the basic attack? Like, how much is that gonna cost? Just to attack. Oh, okay, so it takes four. And then how, how high is the cost of this? 
Oh, it's zero to use. I can buff every turn. I'm dumb. And now I don't have enough action points. So then we come over here. Let's warm him up. Is it going to warm me up too? It is. Okay. So everything that I do, if it's like AE it's in any of my characters in the vicinity, I'm going to take the, the brunt of that as well. I don't have enough action points. So we'll just get right here. And it's more action points to attack. Okay. That's fine. Oh, I should have had her heal him. Oh, I'm bad. Yeah, I'm bad. I'm super bad. Okay, I don't have enough to attack again, so we're done. Oh, she can't heal him. Okay. Buff yourself, darling. Yes! Got him! Alright. Left alt to highlight objects that can be picked up. Fantastic. The higher your perception, the more objects you will see. So is that to say... A two-handed practice sword. I don't want that. Cloth bracers might, might be better than what I've got. The oil flask and the stone gate key. So is that to say, if I have a higher perception, I get more loot? Because that immediately puts, like, so much more worth in putting points into perception. Oh, wait, I want her inventory. Yeah, they have separate inventories. Can I split this? A stitch in time, yes, I can. Friend. I'll give myself two of them. go. Then from his inventory, toss him down here. Let's see what some of this stuff does. That restores health. What does Mug of Water do? That restores a little bit of health as well. So we'll pop those and we'll, we'll eat this. Did it give me like any status effects? I don't know, my, my webcam's in the way. I can't, I can't even see my player thing. Or my, uh, my player portrait. Now she's got the key, so she's got to be the one to open the door. Sweet relief. Right, cool. So you're just gonna heal up over time. Oh no. I wasn't supposed to yeah, I was supposed to go this way. We're good. Taking the ancient stone gate key from Ponus um, Ponus Bay using magic pockets. If any of your party members has an item that's required for you to progress, it will automatically be transferred from that inventory to yours. Okay. Understandable. I needed that the whole time. She didn't realize it. She understood. I just reached in and grabbed it. That was for me. But all right. I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me for uh, the beginning of Divinity. I am in love. I adore this game. I hope that you're going to enjoy it as much as I am because I'm going to I'm going to do the whole playthrough. Uh, there'll be videos of it posted regularly. Uh, I try to do a video, uh, try to do two videos uploaded every day around 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, uh, U.S. Time. So set your clocks accordingly if you're ready to come check out the next video. But I am out of here, guys. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, run down there and slap a like on this video so I know that I should make more of these. But guys, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.